Praise God Church, it's such a joy to have you once again back for this time of meditation. There are several phrases that is used across the world to encourage and motivate people, those who go through difficulties or challenging moments, or taking up a hard task so that they will be encouraged and they will be successful. One such phrase is this, that feel the fear and face it anyway. Wow, it's so encouraging, isn't it? But think about its implication and what result it would produce. Fear itself is negative and facing difficulties with fear would surely produce negative results. That's why God keeps reminding his people and he says, do not be afraid. Do not be worried. Do not be dismayed. And God had to keep repeating to us so that we will not face the challenges with fear but with confidence. When God says do not be afraid, he is not saying that overlook all the danger that is around you. But God is telling that don't worry about what it would produce because I am going to be there. If you are worried about your future, you are worried about your tomorrow, you are worried about your career. I believe we need to hear from God and reminded about this word very clearly that do not be afraid. I believe all of us would have had this experience of giving examinations or for that reason let us consider going for our driving test to get our license. The same vehicle we have driven several times, we know how to shift the gear, we, need to, we know how, to, uh, how much accelerator we need to give and we know how to give all the signals, we know how to drive. And the day comes and the turn comes, probably we are on the same road where we have practiced it several times or probably on the same track that where we have taken several practices. But on that day it was very different. And you believe if you could have, if you can go back and think about that moment, you would have been very nervous, very afraid. It's not because of the officer who is going to sit next to you, but it is what the officer is going to determine or what result he is going to give after you finish your driving. So most of the time, our fear is so much related with what is going to happen next. Now think about it. You and me have no idea about what is what tomorrow holds. We are very afraid of what it could happen or what something could go wrong. So Bible teaches us the right way that we need to think and we need to work about. It's not that we can avoid difficulties and challenges in our life. As long as we live, we have to go through all the challenges and difficulties because there is a lot of crisis each and every day that you and me have to face. Some of it are big, some of it are small, but challenges are there in our lives. Friends, you need to know, the longer the crisis is there, it escalates the fear deeper within us. And the stronger the fear gets in our life, it puts us in a place of uncertainty and we will, we will not be so productive and we cannot bring about good results in our lives. So how do we face these challenges? How do we face these difficulties what we are going through at this moment? How do you face your uncertainty? How do we handle the present crisis that we are going through? Probably there may be so many things that you are worried about today about your finances, about your career, about your life, about your family or probably about your children and about every plans and dreams that you had but now everything is on stake should I move on with what I plan for? I would encourage you keep pressing on don't look at those challenges and enemies or anything that you see right in front of you that threatens you and don't quit on what you're supposed to do because God was leading his people in that direction and that's the reminder that we get from the Bible over and over again. So this morning, for the next few moments, I wanted to talk to you about Deuteronomy chapter 31. God was speaking to Joshua, a young man who was taking up a greater responsibility. This was the situation where God spoke to Moses and said, Moses, you have done well. And from this point on, I'm going to have Joshua lead this group of people back to the promised land. And friends, and this was the moment where God told Joshua to be strong and courageous. Verse number 6, this is what he said. That be strong and courageous, 
do not be afraid or terrified of those people don't get afraid of those people he said for the Lord your God goes with you and he will never leave you nor forsake you a strong promise specifically given to Joshua because Joshua needed it very much friends let me remind you this was the promised land where Joshua was sent by Moses to go and spy over Joshua had gone to the place probably had a blueprint of that city and everything that is available in the places all the resources and all its might that Joshua had seen through his own eyes he had all the informations that he needed but God was talking to him about what he's about to experience and that's why God said Joshua I want you to be strong and courageous not once but over and over again God was keep whispering into his ears speaking into him and he's telling Joshua I want you to be strong and I want you to be courageous don't be discouraged don't be dismayed don't be afraid I'm going to go I'm going to go with you you're not alone because God knew that is the courage that Joshua needed so that he can face the uncertainty that is right in front of him probably you and me are in this situation right now we might have ample of information about this this is and everything that is happening around the economy has been collapsed and the things are going on the downhill everything we have all the informations probably so much and so much that we can look at it and say that it's going to take a long time for us to revive our economy and revive our situations and status like many of the scholars those who are giving a lot of information researchers those who are posting updates about the challenges that we are going to face or the new pandemic that is about to come we have ample of informations like Joshua had about the promised land but God was not worried about the information that he had because God knew very clearly that information are not sufficient for Joshua to go and take over the land and divide it and allow God to rule over that land. So God had to speak to him. And God had to speak courage into his life. Friends, you and me are in the journey of opting into the new normal, a different life. Our life is not going to be the same as it was how we begin this year. It's going to be very different and we are, we are experiencing that in this past few months and it is going to continue for a little more longer time. And who knows? Probably it's going to be a very different kind of life that we will be living through. But even as we step into this new normal, what this world taught us, that you and me need to have courage, not just information. It's good to have information spread over and above as God says let us be filled with courage so that we will be able to face every difficulties every challenges every unseen threats in our life and we will be able to overcome all that and how do we get this courage from the word and the promises that God spoke to Joshua he said Joshua I want you to be strong and courageous and you don't need to be worried about because of those people, those whom you have already seen having everything needed to destroy you. But I want you to look at me, who's all powerful. I will be with you and I will go with you. I will not forsake you. Friends, for you and me, as you step into this new normal, here is a word that God Almighty, He will be with you and me. He will go with us. He will not leave us. He will not forsake us. So be strong and courageous. Don't be discouraged, don't, don't be dismayed, don't be worried. Face your difficulties not with fear, but with courage. For we know those difficulties and those challenges. There's nothing before us. But God is with us and we can overcome everything. Would you pray with us? Gracious Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for this word that you have spoken to us and for those promises that reminds us each and every day. We need to be courageous, we need to be strong as we move on. So Father, I pray for anyone those who are joined with us and those who are listening to these words, I pray that you would give them courage, give them strength, speak into their life. Every negativity would be ripped apart from them and there would be new strength and positive perspective. Not to face the difficulties with fear, but God with greater courage, knowing that it is you who is with them, it is greater than the challenges that they will face. And they will have this confidence that they will overcome by your strength and your might, Lord. Continue to be with them, Lord. Continue to motivate us, encourage us, 
to continue to strengthen us and protect us from these challenges that we are going through in this world. Let your hand of provision and protection be upon each and every one of us. Thank you, Jesus, for your promise keeping God. And thank you for every promise that you have spoken. Be careful to give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Continue to move on with courage, friends. Be strong. And you will see God doing greater things for you. Have a great day. God bless you.